Yes guys, what is cracking? Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm on nights, I've just woke up. I feel like absolute dog shit. Um, but I've got to fix my gang for the track day because I need to do it. Um, I need to do it now because if I do the track day and I run out of braking distance, it's game over. So we need to get them done ASAP. Um, Mrs. is moaning because I need to finish the bathroom. but. If I don't do my pads and I die on the track, the bathroom will never ever get finished. So that's my argument. She's looking at me now going, you bastard. Um, so yeah, let's show you how to fit some Brembo, uh, some pads to the Brembo four part calibers. So let's go. Well, there goes, so let me show you what we got. We've got some performance friction, something. Oh, performance friction composite. Uh, mate, these weigh an absolute ton. I can't believe how heavy these are. So these are definitely going to do bits. Um, we bought some new pins and like the retainers for the um, calipers because these do get mashed up. Um, I watched Bird Brother do his one and he ended up literally mashing the end. So yeah, got new pins. Um, and then we got actually got some. Actually got some grease. What is it now? I forgot what it's called. Copper grease, yeah. So it's copper grease. And then I didn't know I was getting that, so I bought some more copper grease. So that theoretically is all you need. Uh, roughly 120 quid for the pads, 10 quid for the pin and slider, and then what, 250 for the grease. So all in 130, 140. And these pads are supposed to be the business. Um, I'm not going to say the brand, but they do claim to be better than a certain brand out there that's like nearly double the price so yep um, we'll see how we get on with that and shout out to camera racing 24 hour delivery literally ordered them next day got a parcel so shout out to them because that's it so let's go right then guys so what you need is jackie chan barry the breaker bar and axle the axle stand um before we do anything we're gonna break the bolts, so that side, that side. I think it's over 19, 17 mil. Um, just crack them off, just so it's loose in a bit. And then, when the car's jacked up, whoop, um, that's when we take the wheel off. What we said to do that side, do the other side. So let's go. The wheel. Oh no, come on. Right then, what I do know is when we come to fit the lowering springs, um, we did cut the. There was a bracket that like comes off that. Um, if you can see that bolt there, comes off that. Then it goes around this. If you're a Megan owner, you'll know that this is normally sat on here with a bracket, but this is just flapping about like you do. Um, things we need to change we need smaller bolts for here um, when you get 17 inch wheels you might struggle to fit them because these stick out so much as you can, as you can see there um, and yeah hopefully get these bad boys off right then so I'm guessing it's easy as this I'm literally I've got to get something push this pin out push that pin out retainer comes out pad should come out I think it's literally as easy as that, so uh, yeah, let's uh, get started. What we're going to do first, open this. Ow, my fingers, open that. Right then, because we're working on the brakes and that, move the uh, brake fluid cap, just so when we push the pistons back, there's no resistance or anything, so 
Um, I probably could do with getting the fluid changed and all that, um, but it's at short notice, so I'm just going to do the pads. Right then, so what I'm going to try and do, um, I notice you can crush the pins, which can be a ball ache and that, so we don't want to do that. So what I'm thinking is get something like a flat surface, put it on it, and then smash it with a hammer, so then that girlfriend's dad and that was using like a centre punch and that, and it decided to like crumble the top and then push the thing out which made it even harder to get out so we don't want to do that so I'm over thinking we'll I'll put some like the end of an extension on it smash it with a hammer or just something like that so fingers crossed it comes out so let's see how we get on so right then that's us that's what we want to get out so you're gonna just pop that on there like so nice and flat whoa that moves about a lot That feels very, very tight. Right. Tight as a tiger. Yeah. I don't like this. Jeez. I think it's coming. I don't think it's coming. <laughs> Jesus, that is tight, man. Wow, that is not moving at all. Jeez. No. There you go, there's that one, and there's the bottom one. Uh, it looks like it's coming a little bit, so yeah, see how we get on. Right then, so first things first, I was doing it completely wrong. Like, I'll shout, I'll tell you if I'm doing it wrong. Can you see what's the problem and why the pin's probably not going back? Give you two seconds, right, I'll show you. There's this like locking pin. I did not know that was in there, to be fair, so yeah, hopefully pull this out now which that that could have been stopping us from pulling it out right so let's have another blast at this so theoretically now put this on and it don't move way oh, mate this is gonna be a game and a half Wow, wow, wow. Right, and so what we've resolved to, I'm not going to bore you because it was like an absolute twat. Got this like quarter inch, half inch, stick it up against it, smash that with a hammer. You will end up fucking your caliper up unless you're a pro and these are greased to fuck. No way you're getting it out easy, so yeah. Talks a bit. The hammer. Who are you, slut? And then, what do you reckon? Hole punch in there and mm. get it out. Yep. So it says. That's going to get stuck in a sec. What does one do now? Just, I'll pull it from the back now. Get some flies on it or something. Reckon. Surely got off some thin. Right then, so Brembo pin, you're a slag, absolute slut. I'm sure this is where Lee Lockwood, I'm sure he pulled that out, you know, and it fucking went whack. Yeah, the, the turning clip thing. <sighs> Might smash that with a fucking doodah. I feel that's going to be dead to get into there, isn't it? Come here. Shit, man. Try that. Right, grips. Uh, grips is a fucking shit. Walking <laughs> oh, out. Jeez. 
good. Oh, I love being on nights. Walking around with this shit. Shook my hand on it. Or not. Come on, you poggy. Oh, yes, it's been a slot. Probably should have got grips in it. But they're upstairs. Ain't got time for that. There we go. Come on. It's got to come out now. Sorry about the arm. Um, yep, yeah, absolutely McShaggered. Right then, back one. What did you think? It's got to come out, that one. Come on. A bit of persuasion. So tight, man. Let me see that. Keep those legs. Ah, man. Not working, is it? Oh, is it? Don't question my skills. No one will ever do this in a video. Get in the side of fucking. Into adapter. Fuck. I'll punch again because obviously the ends shagged. There you go. There. Just teases you, comes out a little bit, and then goes, Nah, I ain't coming out. Had to fall out now. Should just come out. Yeah. Get this out first. Pull it out from the back. Mm -hmm. Right then, so pin out, pin out, retainer. Uh, what do you reckon the best way to get these these out? Just pull out. Yeah. I we'll need a bit of persuading it probably stuck to the pistons. Uh, stick in there. Go. Yeah, caliper could do with a refurb, so it don't really matter. There you go. As you can see, screwdriver in like Flynn. Wow, this sort of don't look like it's got much in its refurb. Still a bit on that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I reckon on the road. Yeah, it's fine for the road, a bit more my uh, Brembo. Yeah. Okay. Right then, and then same thing with this one. Right then, so we got standard Brembo, mate. To be fair, for standard brakes, obviously the Astro was like pots and pan brakes, man. They, they were dog shit, but these standard what are these about 40 50 quid just for the pads pretty good to be fair so yeah no no put these babies in right then so what we're gonna do push pistons in apparently on these if you push one if we push the top the bottom one will come out yeah as you can see so what you need to do is get your other screwdriver out bear in mind watch the seals so if you cut the seal game over there you go there look Look nice and flat. So yeah, let's go. Right then, so 
I thought I was going to put the pad in because I thought if I push the pistons that side, is it going to push them out? But apparently not. So yeah, let's push this one in. This one's a little bit harder. Oh shit. There feels sound. Just don't want to catch. Oi. Mm, so I think. Some up on the back of it. Yeah, I bought grease in it, so I might as well use it. To be fair, if I don't give a shit about the next owner or. No, then. no, you won't change. You will get it. Not record. Yeah. Okay, so here's the new ones. There's no like real marking on them to say, oh PFC. So yeah, what are you saying? Just copper grease on the back of them, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. What I'm sort of gonna do? Just gonna just lather it on the back. What is that? Is that copper grease? Is it? What the hell is that? Padgu metal free paste for lubricating metal. Was, actually a thing, yeah. yeah, so putting super glue on the pads. That'll do, innit? Yeah. Then you're going to put a bit around the holes. Happy days. That's one. Right then, so I think that. That goes like that, yeah. The slots in there. I'm gonna put a bit of grease just on there and there, just so we don't have. If I ever come to replace the pads and that, we don't have a ball like so. Yeah. 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 She was. Hopefully, then. We go grease. Right, let's pop her in. Jesus! Other way. Eh? Other way. It's not easy. Is it really? Yeah. No. Uh oh! <laughs> yeah, ignore that. I'm putting it in the wrong way. What's up? He's clutching my gear. Supposed to slot right down. Oh my god, my soul. Has that got to be pulled out a bit then? I think. Yeah, it's gone a bit far. Let's see. Not just pull itself in, that's it, it's pulled itself in. Yeah, and then, what did you, did you put anything on the back or did you just keep smacking it? Right, and that, that's all in place now. I've put the circle, them circle clips are in as far as I can get them. Um, there's a little tiny bit, but although I'm not too sure on this man, this bit, I can move this about, so I'm not, not too sure on that, but hey, we'll give it a blast before we go on track anyway, and hopefully that'll be sound, so. Did you want? Yes, guys, what is happening? This is like part two. Um, I'd managed to do one side, um, but I ran out of time. I had to crack on with the house and that. So it's Friday night, it's like eight o'clock. I've been on nights, so I've had a little nap, got up, done a bit on the bathroom and that. So track days in two days. So I want to at least do my pads so if I go out for a little drive tomorrow and that I can at least let them bed in a bit um, how long did these take to bed in because I'm guessing Formula 1 drivers and track car drivers I'm guessing when they put in pads I doubt they really have to bed in but yeah I know I'm not going to stamp on the brakes and stuff so yeah um, if you know how that works bedding in all that kind of jazz please comment down below um, and let me know because I love the conversation I feel like I don't know if it's just because obviously my main following's Astra, but I feel like the the comments and that has dried up a little bit. Um, I don't know, um, but yeah, I just want to get chatting again. I used to love the little conversations I had on that um, in the comments box. So yeah, drop a drop a little comment and uh, 
nice one so yeah i'm going to show you how to i found that when i did the other side i didn't really video that much i just had a little dabble and what i'll do i'll video this now and then obviously if it takes 10 minutes to do i'll cut it down to where it actually starts moving and stuff do you know what i mean so at least you'll actually see what i'm doing but it's not too difficult it's just a it's a ball bag um so yeah i'm gonna uh open the bonnet take the oil uh take the brake fluid cap off um take the, take the wheel off let's go so yeah obviously first plan i'm gonna use the the big extension and we're gonna sit it there like that and we're gonna smash it same on that side smash it and then it will end up pulling the pin out so that's the plan Right then guys, so just before I carry on, uh, I just want to say if anyone's new here, please smash that subscribe button. Um, I'm working my butt off now and I'm, we're going to achieve, I've set goals, I want to smash them um, and I'd appreciate it if you could just smash that subscribe button. I'm going to try and link it somewhere there on my finger um, and my Instagram, just being hiding on Instagram. If you want to see car stuff and all that kind of jazz and what happens in my daily life then please holler. Um, this is something I truly want to do and I believe in. I think if I put the work in, I can achieve great things off this platform. So that is what I'm trying to do. So yeah, comment, like, share, subscribe, and share it to your pals. I'm going to be trying the really proper YouTuber going. I want to do car reviews. I want to work on cars. I don't want to just buy a car and give someone loads of money and then just get them to do it. I want to know what a car is like and learn about it. So um, if you're interested in that kind of shit, Let's go, and uh, yeah, let's get back to the video, and uh, let's go. Right then, so, hole punch doesn't fit in there anymore. So what we have to do now is find a screwdriver that's gone missing, which is there, and then the screwdriver actually fits in, and then we can go Don't want to get it stuck because if we get it stuck, there we go, it's coming. There we go. Boom! Easy as that. Happy days, way! Right, two screwdrivers work better than one, so that's out. Lovely stuff. Now this one should free up because obviously, there we go, lovely. I'm no brake connoisseur, but I don't think they, they're pretty decent to be fair. Um, yeah, what do you think? There's no like, real cracking or anything going on, so yeah, it's a bit beveled, bit beveled there, if you can see that. Right then, now what we're going to do, we're going to smack a pin in, so this one's got like a circlip kind of thing on it. Um, it's going to go through the back here, going to go straight through there like that, give it a little tap. Not on. Just about to go through the pad. There we go, through that one, through that one. And there we go. So it's starting to come through now, so you get the gist of it. I'll show you. So we've got a bit coming out there, as you can see. And then it's just starting to come into the bevel there. So I'm just gonna get it so it's that bit in as far as I can get it. So yeah, do the same on the bottom. Right then and then with the second pin, just want to pop her in so it starts to go in. Pull this back a bit. You're going to want to get this to go over that so oh, it's tight. There we go, starting to go. Now, if I give this a little tap, tap him at tap, he is going to try and move, but it will. 
level itself and push into the pin like so. Sure, yeah. This way looks better. Better look that. Right. So you can see now that it's trying to push it into place. Then do a little cheeky tap. Boom, boom, shake the room. Jesus, what the hell? Happy days. Right then guys, that is it for this video. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little drive tomorrow. What I'll do, I'll bag it on on the old YouTube, um, I'll do like a little pub driving, what it's like, testing out my new pads kind of stuff, nothing major, um, we'll do that, and then obviously Sunday is the track day, so yeah, stay tuned, and I'll, uh, I'll get that video sorted, so I'll try and do it as good as possible that I can, and I hope you enjoy the video, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did enjoy this video, smash it, thumbs up, it literally takes nothing just to click down there and just click the thumbs up, um, if you click thumbs down, get out of my life you might as well unsubscribe and block yourself from the channel because we don't need negativity around here so positive vibes only like share subscribe you sexy lot and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one peace